If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to comment it down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. That really motivates me to make more tutorials. Let's start by creating a new composition. I am naming it Portal. Now create a new solid layer. Note that I am going to use a plugin called Stardust. Free trial for this plugin is also available. Only difference is that the trial pack includes small watermark in the corner. I am also using the trial pack, link is in description. So, after applying this effect you will see a pop-up window. Here we can add different properties in the simulation. Let's add a force property by clicking on this fan icon. Now, let's add field property. Or maybe for now let's add turbulence. Click on this little dot here and connect it to particle. Let's just close this window for now. Now we can play with all these values. Let's increase the particles per second to around 80,000 and emitter type to box. Set the speed to 0. Set the size Y to 0, size Z to 0 and size X to 1000. Now let's decrease the wind Y value to minus 220. Under turbulence, set the position offset to around 230 or maybe around 250. Under turbulence over life bring this dot to bottom. Now the particles will first stay in their place and then will start displacing its position. We are not having the clear details of what's going on because the size of particles are too big. So let's bring the particle size to around 2. Also, let's bring the opacity to 50%. Under over life, size, set graph curve to something like this, for smooth repulsion. Now let's animate this energy wave and to do it hold ALT key and click on the stopwatch icon next to fractal offset Y. Type the expression, time star 10, and click outside the box. Now the energy waves are flowing dynamically. Let's bring the stardust window back. Go to window and check on stardust. Click on this circle icon here to add field property. Attach it to turbulence. And close the window we don't need it now. Change the field type to bend. Now, when we increase the bend amount, you will see that the energy starts bending. But we want it to bend Y axis. So, I select the bend axis to Y. Decrease the Y origin, so it starts taking circular shape. Play with bend amount so that energy takes perfect circular shape. Pretty cool. Our energy is created, now let's give life to it. Precompose the solid layer, move all attributes and hit OK. Select the circular mask tool. And, draw a mask in the center. Open the mask properties and increase the feather amount. Also, change the blending mode to subtract. Now, to add some aperture, let's create a new adjustment layer. And, apply Gaussian blur to it.
I am setting the blurriness value to 5. Now, let's add color to this. Create a new adjustment layer. Apply curves effect, play with red, blue and green channel to get the best required color. We are noticing that no effect is visible. That's because our energy is transparent. To fix it, let's add solid composite effect. Change the color to black. Now if we apply any effect on energy it will be visible. Play with red, blue and green channels. The waves are looking little dull. So now, let's add glow effect to it. Change the glow intensity to 75 and radius also to 75. Now the energy wave are popping a bit more. Looks cool. Let's create reflection or this portal. It will add more details to it. Select the stardust layer and duplicate it. Use rotation tool to match it with your environment. This will add more emphasis to the portal. And it will look more detailed. But, for now I am deleting this layer. Bring the floor image in the timeline. Make sure to pre-compose all the above layers. Move all attributes and hit OK. Decrease the size a bit and change the blending mode to add. Select the layer and duplicate it. Now right click, go to transform and choose flip vertical. Place it below the main portal. I am renaming this layer to ground. Create a new adjustment layer and duplicate the ground layer. Now search for fast box blur effect and apply it. Increase the blur radius and set the dimension as vertical. Now, let's bring the ground 2 layer opacity to 50% and ground layer opacity to around 80%. Bring the stardust comp on the top. Remove the Go to Effects and Presets panel and search for Compound Blur Effect. Apply it on the Adjustment layer. Select the Blur layer as Floor Comp. And make sure that you have Hide the Floor layer. Increase the maximum blur amount. Your reflection on the floor is created. This is it for this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.